Hi everyone, the past few videos have gone off the races that I've been doing. The last one I did was the Hobbit race, so for this one we'll go back to doing the next race on the list. This one will be Elf. First, we'll get to the race info. For your racial passives, you have decreased morale and morale regeneration out of combat. That is not too big of a deal considering those are pretty low numbers, but it's not that great for tanking. The agility increase is good for any class that uses agility like the Warden and Hunter. The decreased fate is bad for healers, but or if you're having any power problems, but it's a low amount, so that shouldn't affect you too much. And the last one here is Suffer No Illness. That one will give you increased disease and poison resistance, which can be nice, but it's only 1% there. So the elves can be male or female, like most races, and here are your head options for the females. Hairstyle options. And then the eyes. There aren't many eyes. Eyebrows. And then the mouths. And last, mm -hmm. there's details. And okay, we'll go ahead and head to the mail real quick. Here's the mail options for head hairstyle looks like they have the same amount as the females for hairstyle and eyes and then eyebrows mouths and less details not many of those only three so elves cannot have facial hair at all that is something unique to them Okay, the next thing for your elves is your origin. Elves have five origins, mm -hmm. which is Linden, Lorien, Mirkwood, Rivendell, and Ed Helon. For elves, they do not change the eye colors at all, but they'll change the hair color and skin color a little bit. So I'll get on an elf and look at the traits. Okay, I'm on an elf right now. Like all the other races, you have your nine racial traits and your five slots, and you earn them by deeds. So, the first one is your bonus to your fellowship skills. And this one will be to power restoration and morale restoration. And then your next one is a one-handed sword bonus, which is nice if your class that can use one-handed swords or melee and then the bow damage is really nice for hunters and there are other classes that can use bows but they're not as major and then the next one is increased fate so like all the other classes you have a trait that can counter the racial passive of decreased fate for the elves and then this one is an elf stealth. It's similar to the Hobbit one and Burglar one. And it decreases your movement speed. It has a 30 minute cooldown. The next one increases some virtues, three of them. Your wisdom, charity, and patience all by one. And this one is Elder's Grace. That gives you a parry chance and partial parry mitigation percent. So that's good if you need some immediate defenses. It has a 30 minute cooldown too like the other races skills and stuff. And here's the Elves travel skill. It's return to Rivendell. That's kind of out of the way of everything but can be handy if you need to go that way and they're easy to switch out. The last one is a plus 5% maximum power to your fellowship for 10 minutes and it has a 30 minute cooldown that can be okay especially if you have some that might need power in your fellowship
that is it for your elf. Thanks for watching, everyone.